So here we, we're standing outside the Lakabu house. The Lakabu house is for this traditional uh, village is the feast house as well. Now this is to accommodate the the village here and what we're using it for today. A historical feast house would entranceway would be a lot smaller whereby you would be crawling in to it. When a feast is happening, the chief who's having the feast will send a tets, a runner, out to the individual villages. And that runner would invite you to the feast, give you all the information. Now, if you were a Samogat or a Simbigat, which is a male or female chief, and you were going to be attending the feast, you would send your chief's chair ahead of you. That would be brought back here to be put on the table of what clan you are and what ranking you are in the hierarchy within the traditional um, house. So depending on what rank you are, your chair is going to be placed in that specific place. When a person passes away, the name never dies. The name is transferred on to uh, the next person in line who has been trained and understands um, what the responsibilities are. So that name will, will be introduced back into the feast. Now, <clears throat> as you enter here, um, you will be entered by rank into the feast hall. Now, when the feast starts, it's very important. We have scouts out in the territories to protect the area. But if you had the, like 60 chiefs in there and their families and a feast was going on, should a war party have come by, you would be sitting ducks basically because there's no windows in here you don't know if people are out here and a raid could happen and raids did happen um, people were would come into the villages and steal the women and the children or they would raid the food the cash um, storage places so in order to protect you this door was only half the size you would crawl in one at a time so if a war party were to come they too would have to crawl in one at a time which whereby their party is over one at a time because they will be caught <laughs>